In this video, we'll be looking at the haloalkanes or otherwise known as alkyl halides. Now, alkyl halides or haloalkanes, haloalkanes are a homologous series. So they're another group of organic compounds, another family, if you will, that have one or more halogen atoms attached to one or more carbon atoms in the main chains as halide substituents. Remember the word substituent means like a branch. So these are halogens. Now remember, halogens are group 17 on the periodic table. So this group over here, you can see fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, and so on. So these are the list of potential halogen atoms that will be attached to one or more of the carbons in the main carbon chain. So on the screen, you can see an example of a haloalkane. Now, if I have one of these or more, it can be one or more, halogen atoms on my chain, these are the prefixes that I will include in my name. So if my haloalkane name has a fluoro in it, so if you see 2-fluoropentane, it means on the second carbon, I have a fluorine atom attached to that carbon. So if you see if it's fluoro, Cl, chloro, Br, bromo, I, iodo. Let's go over naming alkyl halides or haloalkanes, and then this will make more sense to you. So I'll start with a basic one. When you name haloalkanes, you name it as if it's an alkane, but just like, for example, when we had an alkane like this, and let's say we had a, a methyl group on the second carbon, this would be two, obviously we fill the H's in, this would be two methyl propane, right? Because on the second carbon here, this is carbon one, this is carbon two, on the second carbon I have a methyl group. It's the same, very similar for haloalkanes, except on the second carbon, I have a bromo. So this compound over here will be 2-bromo-propane because three carbons in the main chain. On the second carbon, I have a bromine atom. And remember, if you see a bromine atom in your name, it's going to say bromo. 2-bromo-propane prop because there's three carbons in the main chain. A very important rule when you're naming haloalkanes or alkyl halides is we must number the carbon atoms on the main chain so that overall the substituents have the lowest number. So this is a substituent. If you look at the, the longest chain, we've got one, two, three, four. Now don't be fooled. It's not five. Okay. It's not like that. One, two, three, four, five. It's not like that. Let's see if we can find a longer one. Let's try one two, three, four, five, six. Do you see there's actually six carbons in the longest chain? So what this means is on this carbon over here and on this carbon over here, I have substituents. Substituents are branches. Now we need to number this chain so that overall they have the lowest possible number. So just like with alkanes, when we had methyl groups and ethyl groups and so on, we can either number it like this, one, two, three, four, five, six. If I choose the red numbering, my branch is on carbon three. You can see on carbon three, I have the bromo. Okay, so carbon three. And on carbon four, I have the methyl. So three plus four, which gives me seven. Let's try and number the chain in reverse order. So we're going to go, let's choose a different color so we can see it. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I choose to number it this way, then my substituents are on carbon three. On carbon three, I have a methyl and on carbon four, I have a bromo. Okay. I've got an interesting situation over here. This is, a, I chose this example for a reason because why is it interesting? Because no matter which way I number it, overall, the branches give me seven. So which numbering is correct? Remember, when we name an uh, alkane and when we name a hello alkane like this, the branches, the substituents, must be placed in alphabetical order. So this substituent is a bromo. And this substituent, this branch, is a methyl. Which one comes first alphabetically? B comes before M. So that means we must ensure that the BR has the lowest possible number. If I go with the red numbering, BR is going to be three. 
if I go with the blue numbering, BR is going to be four. So obviously the red numbering means that I get a lower number. So I'm going to erase the blue numbering. That's not what I'm going to be going with. I'm going to be going with the red numbering. So how do I number this? This is going to be, or how do I name this? This is going to be three bromo. I'm going to run out of space here. There we go. Three bromo, four methyl. Then how many carbons in the main chain? Six. So hexane. Okay. What about this example? Again, let's look for the longest chain. It goes straight across like that. It does not make sense to number the carbons like this. One, two, three, four. Because then our branches are going to be on three and four. That doesn't make sense. Let's try and number it in reverse. So let's do this. One, two, three, four. One and two is much lower than three and four. Okay, so we're not going to go with the initial way I numbered it. We're going to number it backwards. So what will my name be? On carbon one, so one, and on carbon two, one comma two, di chloro butane. So one comma two, because on carbon one, I have a chlorine. On carbon two, I have a chlorine. So that's where the chloro comes from. Di, because I've got two of them. And the longest chain is four carbons, so butte, four carbons. What about this one? We need to look for the longest chain. So I see one, two, three, four, five, six. Remember, the longest chain can bend like that. What are my substituents or my branches? In this case, it's a CL and over here a BR. I think it's quite clear that if I number it this way, one, two, three, four, five, six. My branches are going to be on carbon two and carbon three. That gives me five. If I had to number the chain backwards, so in the blue numbering, my branches would be on carbon four and five. And four and five definitely gives me a much higher number. So we're not going to go with the blue numbering. We'll go with the red numbering. And remember, when we name a compound, like this organic compound, the substituents, the branches, have to be in alphabetical order. So bromo is going to come before chloro. That means that in my name, it's going to be three bromo, two chloro. How many carbons in the main chain? Six. So hexane. Another important thing about haloalkanes or alkyl halides is I forgot to mention that this is the functional group. Okay, this is the structural formula of the functional group. The X basically indicates the halogen. So that's where the halogen will go in. Remember, when we did alkanes, we, if we block out that X, that was the functional group, the structural formula of the functional group of alkanes. When I add the X in, then this is the structural formula of the functional group of haloalkanes, indicating the halogen. I hope that this video has been helpful. To check out more organic chemistry, please check out the links in the description box below. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Bye, everyone.